edition of Art Scene spotlights a local painter and sculptor who is not afraid to tackle some of the biggest issues of our time. Here's Art Scene producer Suyan Lee, who spotlights Neil Bernstein. Art has both been my best friend and my worst enemy. Art is my exit stage left. Art is the place that I go to kiss God on the forehead and be kissed back. I'm Neil Bernstein. I'm an architect and an artist from New York. Well, I grew up in sort of a fantasy world. Uh, my father bought this dilapidated old estate in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, with an art studio and a music studio. So I've been painting um, and drawing and making sculpture and tearing apart cars and welding and making buildings since I was about eight. Uh, some of the subjects I'm interested in, uh, primarily I'm interested in Holocaust work. I went to Germany when I was 17, and I saw Auschwitz and Dachau. I was subjected to the brutality of the American military. I was a soldier, a very young soldier. I began to feel a lot of uh, deep grief and disenchantment about the world and about some of the things that were happening around me. My first solution to that was to sleep for weeks. But one day I woke up and I realized that I had not really done anything with that energy. So I started exercising that energy into these um, five-dimensional works in front of the gates of Auschwitz and Dachau. Well, I became a broker on Wall Street. I uh, should have been there on September 11th. 28 of my friends vanished in the North Tower. The idea that I was not in that tower at the time was absurd, and I thought I'd better go up there. And so I went to the pit at Ground Zero, and of course you couldn't get in there without a broker's license. And they thought that I was going to work, and instead I went into the pit at Ground Zero, and I filled my briefcase. I started filling my briefcase with ash. Imagine losing someone and having absolutely nothing to, in terms of material, to connect that together for yourself in that process. So I thought, well, I'll get some ash and I'll, I'll make something from it and give it to them. Pain is something that's not optional in life. I guess that we all catalyze it in our own ways. I choose to create these catalyzers for myself and others so that people can uh, process some of that pain. This is a boy who died in Katrina. That's his ash. He's from a little town outside of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And this photo, I found this photo in their house. Uh, what was left of it? Oh, controversy. Yeah, there's, there's been... There has been many a yarn sewn in controversy. So I did a Holocaust show. They asked me to do a big exhibition in Philadelphia in 1999. I was building these big crucifixion pieces, and I cut myself really badly and I was hemorrhaging all over the work and it was just so obvious to me that that was the best thing to put into Holocaust work, Jewish blood. I called it Jew blood and they found the idea of using it offensive. They shut down my exhibition. The Jewish Defense League forced them to reopen that show two days later. With the work here in Arizona, there's been a lot of conflict and controversy. People are upset that I'm using Latino blood and Latino uh, and Mexican cremation ash in these border pieces. You know, if you go down to that desert, there are thousands of people dying there, just 30 miles south of here every day. The people uh, come back at me angry, take action to tear my work down or bury it or destroy it. And my friends that were with me um, said, oh my God, this is a tragedy. And I laughed at them. I said, no, this is not a tragedy. This is, this is where art serves its purpose best. If they're angry enough to come over here and destroy a bunch of sewer pipe painted gold, right, with these golden drapes, if they care enough about the artwork, if they're paying that much attention, then we must be getting their attention. And if we're getting their attention, then we're very, very lucky. Perhaps they'll have a conversation with us. 
the art, uh, it's an attempt to transform the tragedy into something lovely and to put the re-enchantment and the innocence back into it. Art is the one place where you can do absolutely anything. For more information about artist Neil Bernstein, go to our website, azpublicmedia.org.